The amount of places I've seen and, and the people I've met and, and all the wonderful things that have happened through the music, it's all sort of changed me, do you know what I mean? And now it's kind of come full circle again and I'm, I'm sitting in the studio more and trying to sort of create again, you know? First track is a tune called Gerda, which came out on um, me and Shackleton's label, Skull Disco, God, a long time ago now, 2005. Didn't really know what I was doing, just kind of throwing a load of samples together, um, but somehow it sort of sounded pretty fat. I remember obsessively sort of searching for dubstep on, on the internet and stuff and just never finding anything. Not many people knew about that, that style of music then, you know, it was only really just starting to get a name of, of dubstep or grime or whatever and it was just kind of like super exciting. You had to kind of go to the record shops or to the, to the raves to really start to understand anything about it, so I think it was that element of like not really knowing what's going on. Gerda got made just uh, whilst I was still in Bath, but Bristol had a massive influence on us, even though we were, you know, 10 miles away. The only places you could go to hear this music. I mean, Bristol was one of the first places you could hear it in the country. The next one is by Ramadan Man, AKA Pearson Sound these days and myself tune entitled Void 23. A bit of a big one for us, I guess. So this is the middle of the breakdown I thought I'd drop it from. It was built kind of for Panorama bar, basically, that's kind of what we had in our heads when we were in the studio. We were like, right, let's try and create the craziest tripped out six in the morning sort of like moment. Yeah, it's pretty mad time. This would have been in the middle of, yeah, kind of hectic gigs and stuff really um, all over the world, you know, didn't really sort of set foot, you know, much at home for a long time, you know, it was like a few days here, a few days there, and then literally just sort of back on the road again, you know, so that was probably deep in the middle of that time. Definitely enjoyed the uh, hectic lifestyle um, of the heavy DJing. I'm also sort of enjoying being at home a little bit more now, you know? It's definitely something which can take its toll in terms of exhaustion and um, I've realised that I need to look after myself a bit more in terms of exercising and generally, um, yeah, getting proper relaxing and sleep time because it's, it's kind of impossible when you're, when you're in that world. A couple of years of hectic gigging and not so many solo releases has resulted in a, in a bit, bit more of a time that I can get in the studio. I've actually never had a fully solo release before, like it was always sharing sides with either Shackleton or its collaborations with other people, so it's a little bit scary, but it's, um, I'm happy with the way they've turned out and um, it'll just be interesting to see what, what reactions they get, you know? like incorporate a bit of this yeah kind of like crazy echoey washed out stuff with just a real kind of bumping kind of house beat you know so um and yeah just sort of like quite a quite a happy tune i guess i must have been in a good mood when i when i sort of like wrote it there's only a certain amount of time you can be in the limelight do you know what i mean and it really you've got to start thinking about why you're making music and and what you're in this whole game for you know you should be in this for making someone else feel inspired basically and, and for spreading the energy of music. It's better to be concentrating on the raw act of creation. I think once you've seen a few peaks and troughs in your musical life in terms of like attention and uh, 
guest being sort of like flavor of the month or in the limelight or part of something that's really um, you know popular culturally relevant or this kind of stuff it's like you know when the spotlight does sort of turn away slightly you've got to be doing it for the right reasons I'm 37 and there's there's no kids on the horizon there's no sort of like you know things tying me down yet but there is this feeling of like right I need to just basically knuckle down and get as much done whilst it's flowing as humanly possible you know